morning everyone welcome back to my channel today is another what I eat in the day on the WW blue plan and Saturday today is Monday but Saturday started my week two of zero point foods um, it's going really well I think um, as far as an update I'm going to insert a clip right here okay so the video that I was referring to just now um, I must have lost the footage. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know why it didn't record, but I guess it didn't record. So I'm just gonna give you my one week update. And it actually is a five day update because I weighed myself on a Thursday. I started the plan on a Saturday, the zero point meals for two weeks. So I um, ate zero points Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And I weighed myself Wednesday morning, so it was really like, what, four and a half days, five days? And I lost three pounds within those days. Um, I did have a cheat um, moment on Wednesday evening. I just, if I eat too much protein and not enough carbs, I, I get nauseous. And it was probably what everybody refers to as the keto flu. Totally get it, but I was feeling out of sorts. Um, lightheaded and nauseous and I'm like I'm just gonna eat a piece of sourdough toast uh, I put a tiny bit of butter on it and after that I was completely fine um, I went then Thursday Friday and all day well I ate breakfast and lunch Saturday zero points and then the so for one week from one Saturday to Saturday that Saturday night second Saturday we did go out to dinner with friends. There was a bunch of us, probably about eight of us. And um, I did have a cheat meal, but it really, I mean, I was way under my, my points for the day, but I did have points. Um, I had everything with zero points except one slice of bread with a little bit of butter on it. And um, they had a portion of risotto on the side and I ate half of it because it wasn't very good at all. It wasn't cooked, it was hard, it was crunchy, it was gross. So to be honest, that's the two times. I'm being honest because I don't wanna lie and cheat here and I wanna be completely honest that it is tough to do two weeks of zero point foods. I think that I wouldn't mind keeping zero point foods and having two meals zero points and then the third meal with some carbs like a potato, um, sweet potato, rice, something like that, that has points in it, but is also um, within plan. And I think that is very doable, exact, uh, especially for me. So after the two weeks is over, I am gonna you know, continue this and um, for one more week, but um, I just wanted to let you know my update. So within five days, my update was three pounds lost. I will be going, I think I, I, I'll say it in my next, I already said it, so I'm not going to say it now. Um, so we'll see um, what my total weight loss is after two weeks. I kind of wish I measured myself because I, I noticed that my legs seem thinner. I kind of wish I did measurements all over my body too, um, not just weighing myself because you know the scale might not move but you might lose inches so I want to keep that in mind too and not be discouraged by the weight loss number so yeah but that's my update and um, let's get back on into the what I eat in the day <clears throat> so as you just saw and heard that I lost three pounds in five days now I haven't weighed since then um, I weigh myself at work because they have a digital scale they are there and I don't have one here at home. So I'm going to have to wait till probably tomorrow or Wednesday when I go into the office to weigh myself. Um, I will give you an update on that when that happens. But as you see, I'm starting my morning off, took a shower, so I'm looking. Every time I take a shower, my eyes get bloodshot. I don't know if it's my shampoo or what when it gets into my eyes, then they go away. I don't know. But I started my morning off with some coffee. You saw I have a new cold brew coffee. This is the signature brand uh, medium roast from Aldi, the Barissimo coffee. 
blend. Um, first time trying this. They did not have my stoked coffee. So, and I just, it was, it was a long day yesterday. Sunday, it was a very long day. I was literally out of the house from 9.30 in the morning till close to four in the afternoon. I was gonna do a meal prep video. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to do an extra one or two what I eat in the days so I can make the meals in those videos so you can see some zero point meals. But so I did not wanna to go to another store to get my stoked coffee. So I am going to try this now and that this cold brew is a lot lighter in color than the stoked. And so I only had to put one tablespoon of this silk half and half into um, my coffee. So let me reiterate, if you are new to my channel, I am doing a two week zero point food challenge. I am on the blue plan, so that includes all lean meats, beans, fruits and vegetables. And I am allowing myself my creamer um, also too, because if I would take away my coffee and my creamer these two weeks, I would not want to be a person to be around. So I am allowing myself that, but literally 99.7% of the time I have been eating zero point foods. So I'm gonna try this coffee right now. Oh yeah, that's good. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And like I said, I only needed, cause it's um, <clears throat> a lighter blend. I only needed one tablespoon of this. So that's good. I don't know, let me see how many servings you get out of here. The thing this was, $3.99 or $4.99. I think it was $3.99. And um, oh, it says two and a half servings per container. There's way more than that in here. Because I filled this cup up to about here. I mean, yes, there is ice in there. Um, oh, 12 ounces. So I'm definitely not using 12 ounces. I'm probably using six ounces. So you probably get double, which is two, four, seven, maybe seven servings out of this. So not too bad for four dollars definitely definitely starbucks um you're gonna pay a lot more but stokes you do get a lot I, i'm just rambling now let's just get on into the video i'm gonna make some breakfast okay so i'm gonna be making a veggie scramble and i have extra uh vegetables here from last week that are gonna go bad soon so um i'm going to chop this all up cook up the rest of the spinach just so it doesn't go bad and make a veggie scramble. my delicious breakfast I cannot wait to eat this this looks so good and of course you hear my dog in the background always so I am going to be making baked beans for this evening and I want to cook them in a crock pot low and slow so I'll let you know what you need to make them one small onion dice that you just saw me dice a bouillon cube one can of tomato sauce. I'm doubling the recipe, so um, one can of tomato sauce, some salt and pepper. If you have fresh garlic, that would be good, but I forgot to buy it at the store this weekend, so I just have some garlic powder, some smoked paprika, some yellow mustard, two cans of cannellini beans, and a half a cup of water, and I'm just going to cook it low and slow in my crock pot until until dinner time, so probably low for about six hours. So for lunch, what I'm gonna do is warm up some of this chicken bake that I made yesterday. It is zero points. Um, that is fat-free cheddar cheese. I hate fat-free cheddar cheese, but 
I was craving cheese, so that is as good as it's going to get. I only put a half a cup, so a quarter cup is zero points. So, I mean, I, you can see I ate just that much yesterday, so it doesn't count as points. There's mushrooms in there, onion, chicken, um, and basically I have to put some eggs in there to um, make it stick together. But anyway, so I'm going to warm some of that up. Cuts up some cilantro. Use my lettuce wraps just like this and add a little bit of salsa at the top and it is going to be a delicious lunch. Okay, so there's the finished product. It looks delicious and I know it's going to taste delicious. Oh, it's so hot outside. It's 95 degrees. These are my new blue light sun or blue light. Yeah, blue light glasses that I've been wearing for my phone and my computer. Um, my eyes hurt when I am on the computer. I'm on the computer anyway all day for work. So, um, yeah. Oh, but it is 95 degrees out right now. Oh. It's definitely humid. I hope it rains. Then it will be even worse though. All right. I am going to my parents home I have an apple for my snack it is 4 30 and um, yeah that's about it for right now I'm done working for the day so I'm just gonna head over there for a little bit I haven't seen them in a few days so let's go take a ride okay so it's dinner time and I am going to be making Oh, I forgot the pineapple. Pineapple chicken. It's going to be a take on like sweet and sour chicken um, from a Chinese restaurant. It's a take on it. It's not exact, obviously, because it's got to be zero points, girls. Um, I got some thin sliced chicken breast and onion. Some green pepper left over from this morning. I'll probably put some soy sauce on it. And some crushed pineapple in juices. No sugar added. So this is going to be good. And I might put some of this G. Hughes sugar-free um, sweet chili dipping sauce on too. Because it's zero points for, I think, uh, two or three tablespoons. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to cook it up and I'm going to have oh, those baked beans too. Don't forget about those zero point baked beans. And actually, I'm going to put this over cauliflower rice. What do you think? That sounds good too. And obviously, I'm making enough for more than one serving. It's probably going to be three or four. Uh, so this is prepping it. I mean, going to eat it tonight, but prep it for the rest of the week. So let me get the cauliflower rice out and I'll chop up my onion. Here is my dinner. Zero points. I know baked beans don't go with Chinese food, but you know what? It sounds good, so that's what I'm going with. And I think it looks delicious. I can't believe it's zero points. Perfect for this evening. <laughs> 